Look at that sunrise. Here we go. Got the new boat. Love it. I gotta adjust the throttle though. I let go of the throttle and it slows down. So I've only got about a dozen, dozen and a half baits. And uh, I'm gonna use them for snook. I mean, I'm gonna probably miss out on the king. It's gonna get too late. But uh, I got outgoing tide. It's perfect conditions. And um, eventually I'll go for dolphin and typically don't need live bait for dolphin. Really nice filters. Good size. They were everywhere at the at the uh, bait spot everybody knows about in Stewart. No secret. The only reason to get offshore early is kingfish. So I'm gonna try to do that, but I, I can't pass up snook if they're here, so. It's not an option. Gonna hit here, gonna hit the point. Then we'll go for kings and see if they're still there, if it's not too late. Otherwise, it'll be a mahi day. We'll just run around. It's gonna be glass calm. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a jack. It started out feeling like a snook, but now it feels like a jack. Yep, definitely a jack. Oh no, it's a snook. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's crazy. Not bad. Not a bad one. Yeah, there's a snook right there. Not a big one, but... I knew they were there. I knew they'd be there. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. I'm never going to get offshore. But I'll use my bait for snook. I don't care. I like snook, as you know. And uh, I'll just go for mahi offshore with some artificial. Up there, he got hit immediately. I didn't have the camera on, but... Oh boy, I got to retie. But you can see there's a bar up here. It's all churned up. Water's outgoing tide is racing around the point. No surprise. Birds working. There's no question why there's snook here. Bait's almost dead, so I gotta finesse them a little bit. Look at them right here, right here again, right here again. Look at him, he's right on it. Just a little baby. That's a better snook. I saw him hit it. I got him. That's a better one. That's a better one. Yep, I saw him hit it. So this... <laughs> it's freaking awesome. I mean, no size to even this one, but I'm not complaining. It's a decent snook. Yeah, that, that's almost a slot. It's a good fish. It's cool sight fishing, seeing them come up on the pilchard. That was a dead pilchard. He scarfed it. Yeah, much better fish. Not a giant, but better. About a 25. There's a snook right here. Just gonna sight fish along this edge a little bit. That was a fish, but it was another little one. There's another one right there. See him? See him right there. Back out at the inlet. It's outgoing tide, so I'll see them on the bottom here. The birds aren't working again. They're on that side. 
I'll watch them. Oh, he's hit, he's hit, he's hit. Oh, that's a better fish. Nope, same size, same size. Snook hits, just hard to tell how big they are. But we'll take them, little guy again. Oh, he's hit already. He's hit, he's hit. Oh man, that's, that's a good snook. That's a better one. I gotta get him out of the rocks. That's a better snook. Yep, that's a better one. Yep. I'll take him. I'll take him. Boy, they are thick today. Yeah, good snook slot for sure. It's off season, but I still call them slots. Probably right at 28, be my guess. Good one. Good fish. Good fish. Much better fish. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice fish. Nice, finally got one that's looking somewhat female. today but can't complain. So I moved out to the point and I'm gonna go around it too. So I do want to get onto the beach side where it's clear for more sight fishing. Those snook were all shallow this morning on that bait. That was cool. He's hit. Oh, that's a good fish, I think. That's a good snook. If it is a snook, yep, it is. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Very nice one. Right on the point. I gotta get out of here a little bit. See where I set up the spot lock. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a good snook. Best one yet. No question. He's angry. He's angry. It's good fish. Good fish. I'm never getting offshore today. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Again, probably just. Actually, that guy's probably a slot, I would say. We'll, we'll measure him. We'll measure you just because I want to try my new ruler. He's thick, whatever. He... He's thick. Let's see. Yeah. He's also 27. 27. Not bad. With all the rain we've had, the water is crystal clear. So I'll see the snook on the bottom. That's what I'm looking for before I put a weight on. In the meantime, I'm just gonna plug along the rocks because I know they're in there too. 
but hopefully I'll find a stack of them. Look at this manatee. Hey, buddy. I don't know what you got to eat, but hopefully you're finding something. So it's low tide, so this water is pretty shallow. So it's dead low. No current. Doubt we're going to get a fish. I'm going to go into the beach to see if I see any. And then we'll run offshore. Sit out here for a little bit, see if they're out here, and I'll slowly work my way in. I don't think they're feeding. They're just swimming around on the bottom. Oh, there's a hit. There's a fish right there, though. So much for not feeding. Come on, take it, take it. Another little tiny one. Come on, eat it. Yep. Oh, man. Maybe that's not a little one. Same size. I'm not going to say bigger. He's pulling, but he's not that big. I know there's bigger ones in there, just... They're mixed in, mostly small today. All about the same size. He's 26, 27 inches. He ate a dead pilchard. You really can't complain. Oh, you got hooked weird, buddy. Okay. Little guy. So I'm, I mean, look at this day. See what we could find offshore. Oh, so nice. This is about as good as it gets. 106, nice slick, weeds. Frigate's right overhead. Oh, he looked at something. First bait out. Nice line right here. Nice patch over there. There's a bird. This could be good. Dolphin have been slow. Talked to a charter guy earlier and said they got two yesterday the whole day that they had to measure. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning. It's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. Nice. It's a dolphin. Oh man. It's a dolphin. Sweet. A dolphin and a king. Oh no, he spit it. He spit it. All right, he took it. So I got to finesse him. Might be. They got to be 20 inches. There's another one right with him, but he's smaller. Gonna see if this guy's unhooked yet. This is gonna be a mess. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He's sweet. Oh, he's out. Perfect. That's a good fish. I gotta flip him. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. I got him reeling in. 
Look at that guy. Come on, buddy. No, 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 don't go in there. Oh. Straight in the cooler for you, bud. Straight in the cooler for you. Sitting on this weed line, this is where I caught the kingfish. It's the second dolphin. I'm not seeing schools of them. They're just, I'm not even seeing them. They're just hitting when I'm not looking. I'm not seeing any bait. I'm not seeing anything. There's boats everywhere. I don't get why these dolphins are so hungry, but there must be a ton of them around. He's on it. I think he took it that time. Yep, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them out there. They're not big, but they're here. Another keeper, but I'm going to let him go. So pretty. Look at that. I got two in the box already. I'll get rid of this guy. He's probably just barely a keeper. They get so crazy. Come on, Jesus, but good Lord. 9.30, 9.50, and this is what I got. Two mahi and a king. I gotta get that out of the guts. Maybe I'll just eat it. Not a bad morning on the new boat. a swell in here on outgoing. See how the boat handles. Poles Bay 2200. up and uh, the rain is here but fortunately didn't get trapped coming in. It's a good day. I, uh, I wanted to get out early to hit snook. Um, I mean to hit kingfish right at sunrise with filters that I had but the snook were just too good. They were all over. I could see them everywhere sight fishing and um, outgoing tide. It was just perfect. So I couldn't resist it. I fished the end of outgoing and then headed offshore and found dolphin for dinner. So it was a good day on the new boat and uh, thunder is rumbling behind me. Hopefully it's going to go by. I haven't looked at the radar. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. I mentioned if you're looking for a Hughes Redfisher 2022, you know the boat. I loved it. Nothing wrong with it. 200 hours on the motor, trolling motor, GPS, uh, power pole, and uh, it's at Palm City Yachts. If you want to go check it out, it's a great boat. I just, uh, I'll explain more why I switched, but this boat's going to give me a lot more capability. I'm looking forward to it.